Okay, somebody asked a great question today about the WebEx 31 release and alternate host for personal meeting rooms. They wanted to know how that worked, what that looked like. So I'm going to try to do that for you. So um, here's the, uh, if you just do a Google search on WebEx uh, WBS 31 alternate host, you'll come up with this and you'll come up and see this. That uh, meeting host now has the ability to assign alternate hosts for personal meeting rooms that wasn't a, that wasn't there before you could do it for scheduled meetings but not for your personal meeting room okay and there's a few other things there you can read on your own time so let's take a look at what this looks like let's bring up a couple of virtual machines here and we're going to go with jack i'm going to show you the version of productivity tools that i have just so you see um, what we have here not that that's needed at all well it is because we're gonna, i'm going to use outlook for it Okay, I'm going to do things like um, most folks normally do in a Windows machine with productivity tools. So we're going to start a new meeting or schedule a new meeting. I'm going to choose a person to send that meeting to. We're going to say, we're going to call this a test uh, personal meeting room alt host. How's that? Location is going to be WebEx. Okay. And uh, then we're going to just push this button right here in Productivity. We're going to add our personal room. Okay, that's all there is to it. We send that off. Okay, now while we're waiting for Liz to get that, I'm going to show you what settings we have here. Now, if you would go to Meeting Center, you log into the WebEx, your, your site, go to Meeting Center, go to Setup. Under Setup, there's Preferences. Under Preferences, you have this guy right here, my personal room, and this is at where it has all the settings for your personal room. And if you look right here, we got this new thing, alternate host. That was on by default, so let others host personal meeting rooms without me. I have these two uh, buttons right here. Allow anyone with an account in my site to start the meeting, or let me choose. Okay, and you see it's let me choose, and I have nothing there. So no one should be, this should be the old way. So here's Liz, she's gonna accept that meeting. And then let's go to her calendar and let's go ahead and say that that meeting is, let's say that meeting's ready to roll. We're ready to go in that meeting and uh, Liz goes in the meeting. She joins the meeting. Okay, you can see the meeting comes up, and what we get is this notify. I can push that to send it, uh, an email to the uh, uh, to Jack Sparrow, but this is what we normally get. Okay, so let's get out of here and let's see what's different if we do it the other way. Let's go back to Jack. Let's go to his meeting here. Let's go ahead and cancel that meeting. Send a cancellation there. Send. Send that. Okay, now in here, we're going to add, and I don't like that there's not a find in here. So if I start typing Elizabeth, it still doesn't find her. So I'm not sure that's maybe coming in a later release, but uh, I have to know her email address for her account. So eSwan at vzbdemo.net and as soon as I hit tab it's going to take that and translate into their first and last name now if I just put any bogus name or I get it wrong okay I hit tab it's going to tell me only users that have a host account on this site can be alternate hosts so okay that's fair enough let's save that we'll say okay uh, let's just go back to Liz real quick here, and let's clean all this up. She probably got a cancellation, just so we have it as clean as possible here. Okay, your calendar. Uh, that was an old meeting. We won't mess with that one. Okay, let's go back to Jack. We've already added uh, our personal meeting room alternate host we'll just check on that make sure it's saved okay it did 
Okay, so now when I schedule a meeting, Elizabeth host, uh, this says test, alt host for personal meeting room, location is WebEx, and then we'll go ahead and hit this button here to add our personal meeting room, and then we'll send that away. All right, let's go see what Liz gets. She's obviously going to get an email here. There it is. We'll go ahead and accept that. Okay. Now, when it's time to start that meeting, I'm on Liz's PC here, so I'm going to go ahead and go in here. I'm going to go in and start Jack's meeting as if it were time to start it. Excuse me, join Jack's meeting. And now when I hit join, we're going to see something different here. It asks me to log in, first of all. So that's different. Say OK. And then now you can see I get right into the meeting. So I start the meeting. So that's how that works. See, the only difference is it's going to ask you to log in. And then um, uh, if it recognizes you are an alternate host, it's going to ask you to log in. And after that, it's going to start the meeting, uh, uh, start Jack's meeting, uh, because Elizabeth Swan was an alternate host. Okay, so that's how that works.